Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault and welcome to another episode of Dinopedia. Now when it comes to automatics, we have three types of automatics currently available in our market. First we have the AMTs, then we have the CVTs and then we have the DSG. So first let me go ahead and explain about these three types of automatics such that you can be clear as to what kind of automatic would suit your driving style the best. First, let's look at the AMTs. Now, AMT stands for Automatic Manual Transmission or Automated Manual Transmission. Now, in this case, we actually have a manual gearbox that does the gear shifting for us without us having to press the clutch. We have a hydraulic actuator system and an electronic control unit that work in conjunction to simply engage and disengage the clutch while shifting gears. Elaborating further, the transmission control unit on board monitors parameters like accelerator, pedal position and vehicle speed and controls the hydraulic operations which changes gears automatically without the need of having to use a clutch. Secondly, looking at the CVTs, now CVT stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. Now while regular transmission units have a fixed number of gear speed ratios, the CVT system consists of a single unique gear that can change through an infinite set of effective gear ratios while responding only to the throttle inputs. The CVT has a set of pulleys connected by a belt and the diameter of the pulleys are altered to match the different ratios to deliver the right amount of power and torque for smooth movement of the vehicle. Now since there are are no real gear changes happening here, the power delivery is nice and smooth and seamless unlike the case of the AMTs where the gear changes can be clearly felt by the driver. Thirdly, we have a DSG or a direct shift gearbox which we see being featured in the Volkswagen Polo GT and other cars in their lineup. Now DSG is actually a dual clutch transmission unlike the single clutch transmission of the AMT and the CVT. Now the way this works is since we have two clutches working in tandem here, as one clutch disengages a gear, the other clutch pre-selects and engages the next gear simultaneously. To put it across in simple terms, it is like two separate manual gear boxes and clutches combined within one housing and working in tandem. Now talking about the advantages of each, the DSG provides for the smoothest gear shifts among the three because we have two clutches working in tandem here and also the acceleration and power delivery is a lot more thrilling and more more sporty compared to that of the AMTs or CVTs. The DSGs are also more fuel efficient but the only downside here is that they are super expensive. So instead of buying a car equipped with a DSG gearbox, you might as well buy two cars equipped with an AMT gearbox. But still if budget is not an issue for you and you prefer driving pleasure over anything else, then the DSG would be my pick for you among the automatics. Talking about the CVTs, the advantage here is that the gear shifts are quite smooth when compared to AMTs but mileage takes a hit here where you end up losing at least 3 to 4 kmpl compared to AMTs. Also the thrill factor is not as high as is the case with the DSGs because the response sometimes can be slightly sluggish and CVTs are usually known for the rubber band effect wherein the engine seems to be revving high but the speed isn't just there to match that. So finally, looking at AMTs, this is just about the right thing that is tailor-made for us Indians because first of all, it offers the sheer convenience of an automatic in the horrible city traffic. Secondly, it does that without compromising on fuel efficiency. In fact, if you notice, the mileage claims for the manual variant and the AMT variants are usually the same, which is what makes it all the more successful. Finally, and most importantly, it is significantly cheaper to manufacture and therefore be priced aggressively such that it can be made easily accessible and feasible for the masses unlike the CVTs or DSGs. The only downside to AMTs is the jerks that can be felt by the driver as the gear shifts are happening. If you can get over this one thing, everything else is a win-win situation for the buyer in case of the AMTs. So I guess this sums up today's Dinopedia episode. Now you guys can see that I've featured the new diesel AMT variant of the Tata Nexon in this video, which means my first drive review of the Tata Nexon diesel AMT is what is coming up next. So please stay tuned for that. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time, this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and drive safe.